My young friends, I'm really happy to be able to address you because I can tell you there is nothing more important than getting the message across and getting the involvement of the youth of this world. The future lies in your hands and it's a future that we have really tried to ruin this generation and the previous one. Why? Let me explain to you. Since industrialization began, we started using fossil fuels on a large scale. What has that resulted in? Huge quantities of carbon dioxide. And then with further industrialization, we've also produced other gases which are all classified as greenhouse gases. The result of this huge concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has been that it has affected the climate of this planet. What is the extent that we have increased the concentration of these gases? Well, let's just take the case of carbon dioxide. Before industrialization, there were 280 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Today, it is in excess of 386 parts per million in the atmosphere. And in the last 35 odd years, the increase has been extremely worrisome because between 1970 and 2004, there's been an increase of 70% in the emissions of greenhouse gases and 80% in the case of carbon dioxide alone. All of this is affecting the climate of the planet, not merely in terms of a smooth increase in temperature because that's not the case. What's really happening is that a number of other aspects of the climate are changing in a dramatic, almost unpredictable manner. Changes in rainfall patterns, that means precipitation patterns, which includes rainfall as well as snow, are changing. We are finding many more extreme precipitation events. In other words, in a short period of time, we are getting large quantities of rainfall. And that clearly has the potential for enormous damage. And you can't collect that water. It runs off. Therefore, we also know that we are getting many more floods, many more droughts. And often in the same place, you would get a flood in one time of the year and a drought at another period in the year. So, you know, these are things that are happening. But another aspect of climate change is the terrible impact on sea level. Sea level rise has now reached a point where it is threatening the existence of people and other species in low-lying coastal areas and certainly in the small island states. More than anything else, let me highlight the fact that if, let us say, the West Antarctic ice sheet or the Greenland ice sheet were to melt, we could get sea level rise of several meters. Now, if that were to happen, we would have hundreds of millions of climate refugees. We would also have a complete change in the geography of this planet and something that the human race would be totally responsible for. Now, I'm mentioning all these facts only to tell you about the urgency of the situation. The first thing we need to do is to move away from this growing dependence on fossil fuels. We have to create a new energy future for this uh, planet and for human civilization. That is in your hands. Let us start using energy more efficiently. When you go home, please make sure that you switch off lights unless they are really needed. Please make sure that your air conditioning and heating in the living spaces is <clears throat> kept at a level that gives you just a slight level of discomfort and make adjustments in your clothing. For instance, when it's cold, put on a cardigan. When it's warm, don't put on a suit or a tie and see that you try to manage with clothing that is in keeping with the changes in weather that takes place outside. Also, make sure that you use public transport as much as you can. Walk whenever you get the opportunity. And use a bicycle if you have to get someplace not very far away. And most importantly, you have to bring about changes in lifestyles. We have been totally negligent of the impacts of our actions on the ecosystems of this earth, on the sacred bounty that nature has given us. And that bounty is meant for you, your generation and coming generations after you. And therefore, what I would like to submit is make changes in your lifestyles which are sensitive to the needs for protecting our natural resources. What is it that you can do in changes in lifestyles? Well, start with changing your diet. We have become terribly wasteful. 
The world is consuming far too much meat and the meat cycle is extremely intensive in emissions of greenhouse gases. And I can tell you, this is something that I say everywhere, if you eat less meat, and I'm not saying you become vegetarians, if you can, very good, but at least eat less meat. If you were to do that, you would be healthier and so would this planet, the only planet that we have. So my plea to you is you have a mission to follow. You have a mission to fulfill. And therefore, you must take action by mobilizing all your friends, all your colleagues, and even your parents and relations, members of your family, by which we can bring about major change. Because we have very little time. We just don't have the luxury of time. We have to start today and get moving as quickly as possible, by which we can bring about a major change. And I can assure you, this is not going to create any discomfort. All of you will feel much better. Mother Nature will feel much better. There is no bigger mother that we have than Mother Nature. And you have to respect her, you have to revere her, and make sure you take care of her, because she is sick, and we have caused that sickness. So now you are going to be the doctors, You've got to bring about a change in the ecosystems of this world. Do so by changing your lifestyles. Do so by changing your values. And do so by joining hands and starting on a major mission to save planet Earth. God bless you. Thank you very much.